Hello everyone, so we are making buttery palak paneer and uh, for that I have my palak, I have a bag of spinach, it says washed but I'm going to wash it once more and I have my paneer, it's a block of paneer uh, that I bought, um, I'm just going to soak it in some hot water for a bit just to soften it because these blocks are fairly hard when you buy the paneer and uh, of course we're going to use some butter and a little bit of oil just to make sure the butter doesn't burn and um, uh, here's about a medium onion that i've roughly chopped and about um about the same amount so about like a, it was a sort of medium-ish tomato uh, that i roughly chopped as well and one green chili so now we can go ahead and start making it so you got a pan on the heat and in this pan I'm going to add some butter. So I'm going to add equal parts butter and oil um, So I, because I don't want the butter to burn. If the butter burns, and which it will if it's all butter, um, then it'll give it a bitter taste and, I, and it'll lose that buttery taste. So I want to make sure that the milk solids in the butter don't burn uh, and that's why I'm adding in the oil. So I've also added one teaspoon of cumin seeds and I'll just saute them a little bit. I will not brown them too much, maybe 30 seconds or so. And then I will add uh, my onions in here. Um, that I had roughly chopped up before um, and uh, here come the onions now I don't add uh, ginger garlic in this palak paneer some people do add it I don't like the taste of ginger garlic um, in palak paneer so I don't add it if you like it feel free to add it uh, before the onions um, so the onions are a little bit translucent it took about a minute or so and i've added in my tomatoes you don't want to brown your onions um so um, it's just you just want to bring it to the translucent stage so i've added my tomatoes so i'm now going to add some spices here is salt to taste um and uh and some other spices a little bit of red chili about a quarter teaspoon and also um, some coriander powder um, and also a little bit of black pepper just like maybe less than a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and about less than a quarter teaspoon of turmeric as well and um, and now I'll, I'll sort of mix it up well combine it and allow all the spices and the tomatoes to cook through together I you know the heat is sort of medium low at this point and uh, I will cover it and um, give it a few minutes to just come together get happy and just helping it along by crushing everything and um, here comes my lid and I'll put a timer and it should be here's my lid and I'm going to give it three minutes and you can see I'm putting my timer on um, I do tend to forget when stuff is on the <laughs> stove so I, I just work with my timer so here it is after three minutes uh, and you can see that um, it's sort of cooking well but it's a little sticky at the bottom and if that's the case add a little bit of water as I'm doing now because the water will deglaze the pan now I did have warm water and that's what you really want to do so once you combine that um, you can add a little bit uh, you can add all of your spinach as you can see I had uh, washed it and now I'm adding it over here um, and it was you know the, uh, it was fairly clean when I washed it so that's good um, so I'm just going to cover it and now I will allow the spinach to wilt for five minutes again my heat is sort of medium low and I, once that mixture cools I'm going to blend it in a blender so this is you know after I've blended everything up so now I've got uh, my paneer I cut them into big 
cubes there you can definitely cut it into smaller cubes if that's what you want um, and what I'm doing is I put in again uh, equal parts butter and oil and I just want to lightly brown my paneer just I just move it around till I get a little bit of brown spots on the on some of the pieces and that sort of brings that buttery flavor into the paneer as well so it's really tasty plus it gets a little bit of a crisp edge which is also makes it very delicious and here's my blended uh, mixture I added it I, you can see I blended it really well um, so there are no, no chunks of anything and uh, here you know do a quick taste test add more salt if needed and also add in your garam masala I added half a teaspoon of garam masala I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of kasuri methi methi is so good with palak it gives a really nice flavor it goes very very well together and in general, when you're making veggie dishes, you're not putting garlic and ginger, then it is recommended that you put the kasuri methi. Now I'll combine all of this, cover it and let it simmer and thicken away for about five minutes. Uh, I'll only, you know, simmer it for five minutes because this will continue to thicken um until <laughs> later on as well it just continues to thicken so uh here i'm just going to give it five minutes and as it is it turned out gorgeous it was so buttery and delicious and, oh my god you guys you must try it and if you do like it uh, please do like and subscribe thank you